My name is Graciela Pintado. I teach at Neil Armstrong Elementary Kindergarten Bilingual. I practically have to reinvent myself. I changed careers when I got here. I changed, of course, countries, culture. And it was quite, quite a leap of faith. Uh, and I decided to, you know, go into teaching. Because, you know, I'm bilingual already, so I decided, well, just go for it. Overwhelming, humbling. Uh, you have to understand that I work with this great group of teachers. I mean, they're awesome, all of them. And just the fact that they choose me, coming from them was a huge honor. So I'm very, I'm very honored about that. Yes, they think I'm very funny, the way I, I speak, uh, because I still have my accent. And uh, it, culture-wise, it was a shock for me. Especially when you see people that have a Latino name, like Juan Rodriguez, and they don't speak any Spanish. So for me, I have to get used to that idea that, you know, that happens here. And uh, my students get a kick at the way I, I see some, I say some words, or when I translate things in Spanish, sometimes they don't get, they don't understand the words I'm using. So... And it's, it's a give and take. They, we learn from each other. The first day uh, when I first start teaching, I walk into that classroom and I have 18 students there waiting for me. And I'm, like, I'm thinking, I have to spend this time with these kids. I mean, from 7.30 to 3 o'clock, what am I going to do with them? And eventually, my mentor, Ms. Salcedo, she was an awesome mentor. She told me, it's going to get better. Don't worry, it's going to get better. I didn't believe her at the beginning. Said, no, it's not going to get better. This is crazy. And you know what? It does get better. And you really, this job, you take it home with you. And you're always thinking about how can I make things better for my kids? How can I reinvent my approach to different lessons? How can I keep them engaged? So teaching, it's like being a doctor. You're always trying to think ways to get your, your students ahead or better. So it's, it's a learning process, and it, it never ends. A couple of months ago, uh, it was dismissal time, and this kid that was from Shepherd Middle School, and they just came to visit me, and I didn't even recognize them. And, and one of the girls said, Miss Pintado, it's Saya. And I look at her and say, oh, my gosh, she was one of my students from my first year of teaching. And I, I start crying. I mean, I was so touching. And Miss Boy, you cry so well because you, you remember me. After all this year, you still remember your first grade teacher. So for me, that was, that was an eye opening and then makes me more, how can I say it, more aware of how you project yourself to your students. And it's like you are like an orchestra conductor you're tuning these instruments in your classroom to make this music. So, and, and you keep touching the lives of the students in so many, you're not even aware that in the way you're touching your students' lives. Oh no, I'm gonna be teaching until, I don't know, I fall apart or, no, I'm gonna be teaching. I love, I love what I'm doing. And I'm blessed to have this profession because you are forming, you're modeling these minds, you're, putting information there that they're going to they do they're going to uh, use in the future so i love the classroom i don't i don't see myself out of the classroom at all my i think that i might go back and do a master's degree in early education cuz i want to know how these kiddos tick what makes them tick and how can i make it better to make my instruction better for them to be successful what I would like to thank my peers, all the wonderful teachers that I work with, my kindergarten team, they're awesome, they're very supportive, uh, and I'm just blessed to be a teacher.